and welcome to a new series on Minecraft. Yes, this is going to be a redstone let's build. I'm going to be making a Rube Goldberg machine uh, on the 1.8 snapshots, which are really laggy. Sorry about that. I do not know why they are so laggy. Look, I'm getting 35 frames per second. Yeah, YouTube limits everything to 30 frames per second. Anyway, I'm going to go start and find a location to start. Yay, that sounds cool. And, um, yeah, I'll find a place and then we'll maybe make a starting thing. And it's going to be redstone and it's going to look awesome. So, let's go. It's off building on camera. I'm probably going to do that for quite a lot of this because I want to show you how I make all of this. So, first of all, I'm going to try out one of these bud switches. So, I'm going to go under here and I'm going to put down a piston. And if I grab a redstone block and put it there, and I take a redstone output of here, and I just clear out some space, and I put down some redstone here. Now, if I use this to power a, uh, if I use this to power a uh, rail, like this here, and if I make sure I've got it so it's. Let's see, I need to make sure it's a certain strength because when you get a comparator, it does that. So there, it's going to activate that there. Now, it should activate that like that and keep it on. So that's kind of cool. And you're going to have a, a red button to turn it on and a... Yeah, yeah. so it updates automatically. So it's kind of a, a random pulse. So if I come over here and I cover this up now, as soon as I update the block next to the piston, it will automatically bring it back in. So you see that, and it's going to always activate that there. And just for to make it symmetrical, I'm probably going to do the same here. So if I just bring out, oops, just bring out along here and bring it here and put it into there. Now we've got them both being powered continuously. Um, ah. Okay, we'll have to go like this instead. There you go. Now. That's like a, a bud, so. So we're going to get it so it activates something down here. And then it will actually update this again. So when when I'm gonna get it, so when it hits that block there, it's gonna come out of here. Let's have a look. Clear out a bit of space. I'm gonna get it so it comes out of here. And then it actually updates this. So it's gonna now come along here after a long delay. Let's say eight ticks. So I'm gonna do this, I'll go one, two, three, four. But one two three four one two three four one two three four let's see what this looks like so now it's going to turn it on and then after a moment turn it off cool so that's like a button underground and it's quite complicated but that's what i'm aiming for i'm going to make things quite complicated and probably bigger than they need to be so this is the output line so this is going to turn on for a moment and then it's going to turn off right cool so now we can bring this out of the ground and we can maybe fire something up with a slime block that'd be cool so grab a slime block and i'll get to work building one of these contraptions let's go i've designed uh, i don't know if anyone's made this before they probably have it's just a cool thing here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fire an animal out through this hole so it's going to open up an animal's going to bounce up i'm probably going to use my hidden piston trap door thing I made on the channel a while back in fact yeah I am going to use that so um yeah if you want to check that out there'll be a link in the description uh yeah let's go I've made this as you can see what I've just done I haven't done the design I made before I've just taken the output from here and I've uh, put it down into here through a piston 
and a uh, piston and a redstone block. And what happens is, well, you can see here, a pig gets, a pig gets dispensed. And then it actually goes back up again, which is pretty neat. Let's see that one more time from the top. So if I now cover this up with, um, let's say, grass, let's see what this looks like. Try this out. Let's just put grass there. Cool. So that looks cool. Just need to go down here now and cover up some of this with the white wool. Cool. So the pick is going to come out of the ground there. And I was thinking we could use like a, a water stream to take it down there. So it will be dispensed into, into that. Sorry about my phone. And um, so maybe I could use like a, a water stream and take it along. So as soon as that happens, a water a bucket of water will be dispensed out of the wall like this. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's see what that looks like. So if we grab a piston and I'll start building this. Let's go. Finish that. I want to see what it's like now. I've all I've done. I've taken an output from here, and I've put it into a repeater going up into here, which is just running into that, and that should be a one tick pulse. So if I just cover this up here along there, this should work perfectly. Let's have a look. So now it's in. Now it's in. Maybe that could happen, and then you press the button. Pig cats dispensed. Okay, so that's just activated it now. If I just go along here and I just make sure nothing goes there, push down with that. Okay, cool. Like that. Now the water's running down there, so I was thinking if I had a piece of dirt there instead. Um, if I had it so all it did was like kind of came out a bit, did a bit of terraforming, so it went along here. And just a bit a bit along here like that that might make it look be a bit better so you press the button just like that dispenses it and takes the pig along and then yeah cool okay let's have a look at that then see what that's like so let's get a pressure plate and go along to here maybe and that's going to shoot the pig continuously, which is going to be really fun. Um, so I get a bit hyper there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not against killing pigs. I like pigs. I like pigs a lot, actually. So I'm sorry if you're a pig out there watching this video. I didn't mean to be mean to you. I hope you understand. Anyway, uh, we'll take the up here and we'll go like this and we'll run that into a super fast redstone clock and go like this now if we put some arrows in there what should happen is we press the button probably got the location wrong no nope, we haven't we'll go there kill the pig a few times ah oh, yeah kind of forgot about that oops Okay, just grab my sword again. I'm really bad at this. Try and get this done, and then I'll meet you back in a moment. This is like, so the pig goes along down here and gets continuously shot. Okay, so what's happened here is that this is still too strong. So I'm going to go around here and loop it into there. Cool. And now I'm just going to replace this with a stone pressure blade. Because that would be cool, perfect. So now, press the button one more time. Okay, and it's set up. So let's try this one more time, and then I think that will conclude our episode for today. It's a great start, I think. Let's have a look. So the big goes along there, gets shot loads, and killed, yay. And then, once it's killed, this output will turn 
off. Well, no, it will actually get turned on, which will then activate a piston. That's going to have to be reset every time. And then that's going to go onto here, and that's going to activate something there. So that's ready for next episode. Should we just go through what we did today? Yeah, let's go. So firstly, we created this. This is a, like a hidden button. Right, so let's just reset this. There's a hidden button in the ground. Uh, not in the ground, in the, sc in the air. And it's kind of cool the way it does that with nothing below it. And when you press the button, and then you look behind it, and then the pig gets flying out, comes flying out, goes inside the thing, gets shot and killed, and then that gets activated. And there you have it. That's all we've done today. I'm gonna make a quick change because I'm, and because I'm really, really nice, I'm feeling in a good mood today. Um, I'm in a good mood today. Uh, I'm gonna do something really nice to the pigs, and that is just put some lava behind them, just so they don't wander off like this and go like this and like this oh wait i'm making this out of wool oops probably not a good idea game rule uh what's it called do fire tick is that no yeah it is cool so put that as false and if we put some lava in here we shouldn't burn we put some lava oh i feel so evil now put the lava in there as well i need to see this sec Okay. You ready for this, guys? Let's grab a pig. Put the pig in here and let's see what happens. Oh no, that's really mean. Oh, that's really mean. But evil at the same time, I love it. I love it so much. That is amazing. Oh no, no. No, 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 no. No, no that was dangerous. Okay. Let me just go fix this up. It was good, that was good, that was amazing. Let me fix this up here with just a quick fix. All right, that should work. And instead, they're gonna get shot with flaming arrows and they shouldn't be able to die this time. So if I grab pig spawn eggs, I mean, shouldn't be able to survive, I mean. Okay, so that's getting activated. And my thing isn't on, so I don't have a comparator. Like so, like that. So there's a pig which goes in there. I don't want to place down pigs instead of redstone, this sucks. Alright, let's try this. No, not pig, redstone I want. Ah, uh, there okay, cool. Let's try this out. And we get some nice cooked pork chops. Perfect. And then what we have to do now is just take the same output here and run it into there. And we have it done. Okay, it doesn't look as good anymore, but hey. So the output's off. When we try it out, the bait gets pushed into there. It gets flame shot. And there we have it. It's done. So, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Rube Goldberg Machine. Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll be able to do. Um, oh, it's annoying, is it? Oh. I just want to see what happens if I do this in survival. Uh, game mode is zero. Oh, it is quite deadly. Bye. At least all the pigs are dead now. Ah, killed every entity. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Dan on the Pixelite channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.